Yeah, yeah, we don't want nobody telling us what to do. We don't want nobody pushing us around. I apologize. But tell me, just what is it that you want to do? Well, we want to be free. We want to be free to, to do what we want to do. We want to be free to ride. We want to be free to ride our machines without being hassled by the man. And we want to get loaded. And we want to have a good time. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a good time. We're going to have a party. This is the Biker's Lifestyle Podcast. I'm Dirty. Hey, I'm Tank. What's going on, brother? Same shit, different day. And today we got a guest. Go ahead and introduce yourselves, please. No. No? No. Oh, okay. Go I ahead. I got to get something out of, I get, no, out of the oh, way. Oh, you, you want to have a therapy session I, before we have a podcast? You just had your fucking therapy session. Okay. You did. You walked in You walked in this fucking club. I was throwing this smile on your face. The first time you've seen a smile yeah. on your face in over a month. Yeah. And so, why is that? Because you were able to do what? Ride a... Ride a motorcycle. Ride a motorcycle. That's right. Yeah, it's good times. It is good times. I recommend everybody do it. I, I highly agree. There you go. All right, now go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck with me, I can fuck right back. Hey, okay? no, that's cool, man. <laughs> well, please go and introduce yourselves to the to the people. Uh, my name's Ted, and uh, they call me Black Tag. This is my uh, wife. Bonnie, she's uh, afraid of the camera. Yeah. She doesn't want to look at it. It's, right, yeah. it's right there. There's okay? like four people that are going to watch this. So yeah, don't even right, worry right. about it. Don't worry about it. I feel like going to face you guys. Okay. No, no, oh, you know, it's, it, it be, your, be yourself, yeah. man. Don't worry. About Chances it. are it won't work, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I told you we're a shit show. Yeah, we are a shit show. Yeah, every bit. That's of why we right. can't get any corporate sponsors like PBR. Like Pabst Blue Ribbon. That's right. <laughs> or Cuban reject cigars. Mm. So you guys uh, ride for the combat vets? Yeah, so I'm the uh, the executive officer for the combat vets. We're a chapter out of Rockford. Um, so for those that don't know what an executive officer is, like in your uh, club, it'd be a vice president. Oh, okay. So, uh, well, I guess uh, we could start by uh, asking you, uh, where are you guys from? Just originally Rockford? Well, I'm from McChesney Park originally. Oh, okay. Beloit now. Mm. Since we got married. Okay. So. Born and raised in Beloit. Oh, born and raised. Oh, okay. So just out of the Rockford chapter is, you guys are just part of the Rockford chapter. He started up in uh, some prairie. Oh, okay. Uh, chapter. Okay. Right. Rockford was a little bit closer. A little mm -hmm. bit, uh, less of a ride to get up there and hang out. Right on. Right on. Well, you asked before we, and I said we talked about it once we got on, on and started the shit show, um, how I met Ted. I met, yeah. met, I met Ted at Cagle's Harley Davidson in Rockford. Uh, didn't even own a Harley at that point in time. I was Victory Boy. Mm -hmm. uh, I was the prospect in the club at that time. Um, my parents had given me a $50 gift card for my, my birthday at Harley Davidson. So I show up on the Victory, you know, at a Harley dealership, and I'm just spending the money there. And, and it's perfect. And I'm definitely not. I ended up shooting the shit with him. Right on. We just, I don't know, we just picked it up and started talking. And then uh, I mentioned Abate, Wisconsin, that we had meetings up in Abate and we talked a little bit. And he was like, yeah, I'm really riding here, you know, yeah, doing this, doing that. And, you know, I think I gave you a, I give you a card, I believe. Yeah, you gave me a card for the Abate chapter yeah. and uh, reached out to you not too long after that. Little did he know when he asked me the question, mm. uh, I, was new to riding too, so I didn't really know jack shit either. So, if you want to know, I believe it was something about how I cleaned my bike. And I'm like, uh, I'm just oh, look at yeah. Oh, you know? yeah, because I was trying to figure out what the fuck I wanted to buy at a Harley oh, store and riding a Victory with, you know. <laughs> and so I'm like, I yeah, bike wash. Okay, hey, you use this shit for your bike. And that, I said, you're right. That yeah. is, that's how it started the conversation. Yeah. I'm trying to figure it out too, brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was washing bikes for years. I just never used the bike wash. That shit works pretty good. Yeah, it does. You spray it on, you leave it there, and then you hose it off in 15 minutes, pulls all the dirt with it. It's pretty cool. What's shit. that shit they got? I've seen like those commercials like on Facebook where it's you spray it on your bike or whatever, and it's like everything just comes off with water. Like you seen that stuff, it's like it takes bugs off, it's just spraying water on it. 
Oh yeah. It might be like the sun watch, but what I use, I use that bug slide. The bugs just melt right off. Is that what it is? Yeah. Not that I'm that. plugging anybody, but uh, yeah. So I don't watch it. Ain't nobody paying us here. Don't worry about it. But no. uh, yeah, usually I'm just knocking the bugs off. Where do you get that at? Uh, you can get a Kegels. I get mine online. Oh, okay. Like bug slide. Bug slide. Yeah. Bug slide. Yeah. All right. This shit just melts right off. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I got to get something, man. There's, yeah. And let's get back to the story, though. You had said that you reached out to me not too soon after, and that's not true. No? I think it was probably about nine months. I, I think it was a check of time. I think it was because I was, I was sitting over running the ABA meeting up at Stables in Orfordville, okay. and you two had slipped in the back. We're out there in the patio, and you guys had slipped in the back, and I'm like, hey. <laughs> okay. Well, it might, it's in my mind, it seems like not too long after, okay. but, uh, you know, there's a lot of lost memories floating around in my brain. It was a few years ago, too. It, yeah, it happens to me all the time. Yeah, yeah, that was a few years ago. I don't know how many times somebody said, hey, do you know so-and-so? I might, you know, I, by face, you know, I don't know names. <laughs> well, he, they've probably seen you before because they were at our uh, strip poker run. Oh, yeah? The uh, the infamous <laughs> one when uh, the guy killed himself at the... Uh, oh, when the, the guy Ve in the Subaru fucking in, ate shit. In the yeah. Vegas the Vegas one there. Yeah. Well, was it that or was it the year before that? No, I think it was that one. 20, that was the one with the... That was the one. They 17. closed the road off. We had to wait to bring the pack on. Yeah. 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 It was horrible getting stuck at that strip club for an extra hour. Yeah, we <laughs> hated that. Horrible. Yeah. That was terrible. Yeah, yeah I almost ran out of money. Yeah, because I, I was one of the... Uh, the chase, not the chaser bike. I was like the lead bike to go up and and let them know. You know, I was 10, 10, uh, 10 minutes in front of the pack, and I remember that the sheriffs and stuff were down at the end block on the road. And then I came in, and he's like, "How the hell did you get through?" And I'm like, "Oh no, it happened in front of us. We're right there, directing traffic and stuff." And, yeah, you know, there'll be a big pack coming here through. Just well, to let you know. Yeah, we had like uh, we had another uh, MC there. I believe they're an MC. It could be an association. I'm not sure. I was the uh, the fire and iron guys. Fire and iron guys. I want to say right. that's their name. Yeah, they were there, you know, doing what they do. You know, it's like their profession. So, you know, one of our brothers is an ENT. So, you know. Well, it was interesting to watch that when all that happened because there, you're right. There were there were those guys there. There are a lot of people there who knew how to take control of the situation. Right. You guys are probably in looking at titties and stuff inside. Yeah, actually, uh, I think we were. Uh, I think Bonnie had more fun than what I did. The women he always, said it all the time. The women, women had always more fun. fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, it's amazing. But, yeah, yeah uh, when it happened, within, I don't know, probably three minutes, our our group, the people in our group, had that scene secure. We, yeah. had, we had people blocking up there, stopping traffic, doing crowd control, traffic control. And our, one of our club brothers actually was up there, and he uh, was doing CPR on the guy. Well, oh, he it, tried to. He tried to. They had to. They had to try to resuscitate him, and the guy's transmission was actually had come through. He had hit the semi so hard, and it was sitting in the guy's lap. And so it was. That was a. That was an interesting day, wasn't it? Well, seeing as how you're a member of the Combat Veterans, uh, is it Combat Vets Association? Yeah, we're an association. Okay. What branch of service were you in? I was in the Navy. What did you do in the Navy? I was a, a jet uh, mechanic. I call them. So if, if there's a, any Navy vets out there, though, AD was my rate. But uh, jet engine mechanic, uh, worked on the flight deck uh, for most of my time, and then down power plant shop, actually just wrenching on engines. So you're probably uh, the smartest person in this room, then? I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know. I'd put money on it. Yeah, you're a jet mechanic, man. <laughs> right? Oh, shit. Uh, I can turn a wrench. Well, uh, yeah. Did any of yours crash? None of my crashed. There you no. go. All right. Done hey. deal, man. Yeah, you can't fuck around doing that. Uh, now, oh, go ahead. Ask no, go right ahead. Oh, like, well, I'm just getting back to that ride that day because uh -huh. I remember when uh, we got back, we got back to the, 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 the venue. We had a live band on that was playing. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if you were in. No, no, you were working. You were doing a, an event or something. Uh, if you were with Cholo doing something, yeah, I was, you guys yeah. were running the event. Yeah. But the band was playing, and a few of us were standing around. And I look over, and I see these two. Mm -hmm. And I see her, and she's like, well, we, we don't even need, need sound. We just have to watch what's going, the, the, the passion play going on with the body. And she's like, come on, come on. <laughs> and she's out dancing on the dance floor a little. And he's like, come on, right in the parking lot. Come on, come on. He's like looking around like, there's fucking bikers all over the goddamn place. What are you doing, man? 
and you finally coerce him out, and you're the only two out there that are dancing with all these big, very scary, tattooed bikers all over the place. And I just remember, I looked over at the Club Brothers, and I said, that man loves that woman an awful lot. And they said, why is it? She's just enticing to get out there and dance in front of all of us, all by himself. Uh, I'm like, yep. Do you remember that, Ted? Oh, I do. I was like, no. How'd you feel, Ted, when that was happening, huh? My thought was, dear God, no. <laughs> I, I'm not a dancer anyways. Yeah, but no, yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, fuck you. Well, we, we could see that. Yeah. <laughs> I was surprised that he came out. I did not expect him to It was Mustang out. Sally. I do remember that. Yeah. I'm a better dancer to drunk or I am, though. Well, yeah, me too. yeah, at least you think, right? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Either way, either I think I am or I actually am, but you have a good time. <laughs> yeah. You get enough alcohol in me, I can dance. Yeah. No. It ends up me just grabbing boobs, but nonetheless, <laughs> that's how I dance. So, you know. Hey, you know, you got to go with what That's works. how I dance. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's nice. So hey. you, you do remember that, huh? I do remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, Bonnie, you just uh, recently purchased a motorcycle. I did. Yeah. What was, what was that? What I have now is a 2009 Heritage Soft Tail Bicycle. Mm. And you, before you had a Dyna. I did. I had an 04 Dyna. Another Dyna owner. Dyna yeah. yeah. And how? when was that? That was about 15 years ago. And, you, and then I didn't ride for like 13 years or so. And then I met up with Ted and I just wanted my own again so bad. I was so tired of riding on the back. So finally this year we did it. Got my own again. So 13 years it. not riding, and you got back on it again. Yeah. And I don't know if you're like me, you get a little older, you get a little more tenuous about, you know, like you, think, like you suddenly go, wow, I think my bones can break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a little different now. I'm still probably not, you know, I'm not quite there yet. I'm doing better with my leaning and Well, stuff. didn't, didn't you almost just dump it in front here? Well, yeah, that short <laughs> turn. And I was like, okay. Just barely under the trees, but you took it like yeah, a tent. We got it. Well, the road in front of the clubhouse is all torn <laughs> shit. So yeah, yeah, yeah. God bless Wisconsin roads. Yeah. Fifth there's, worst in the nation, folks. That's yeah. right. Come to Wisconsin. There's, there's guys been riding for 40 years and almost dumping on these fucking potholes out here. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. don't worry about that. It happens. So you got back on a bike. How oh, was yeah. how was that the first time? First time you're throwing your leg back over the saddle and your oh, bike. I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. So, I told him when we picked it up, I said, he said, you want me to ride it back from the Chesney Park? I said, no, I'm going to do it. I went back and forth, went back and forth. No, I'm going to do it. So I just got on, and I was like, it took me about five minutes. Everybody stared at me because I'm like, okay, no, no. no we're good. You know, let me just do this. So I took off again, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, this is good. I was starting to get worried about it. it. I wasn't sure if she was going to leave the driveway or not. But. I know, because yeah. everybody's staring at me, which I hate, which happened with my first one, too, at Kegels. Everybody's like this, yeah. watching me, and I'm like, so but I did it. No maybe problem, they thought so. you were a beautiful woman riding the bike. And oh, they, they were just waiting for me to kill it. That was obvious. Well, we all are. <laughs> it's a, we stand and watch. I and mean, I am not going to do that. It's well, like boat owners like Boat owners go to the boat ramp yeah. to watch people put the boats <laughs> in and out of the... I, I can't even... I can't say shit because I'm borrowing Club President's bike right now, and it's got a hydraulic clutch, as opposed to all the cable-driven clutches <laughs> I've ever ridden. So what's the first thing I fucking do taking off from stop signs and stoplights half the time is kill the guy sucker because I'm not used to the <laughs> hydraulic fucking clutch that comes in like right at the end. And yeah, it happens to everybody. I don't care. I mean, we're never getting out bullshit. Oh, no, I, have, no, I have a yeah. couple times since yeah. I got it, but I, I have it in my head in front of this group. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah, doing yeah. it when I know that. But yeah, it's oh yeah, you buy you buy yourself, you leave on the bike, and whenever you do it, it's always in front of a bunch of fucking people. Always, always in bunch always. of bikes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I remember years ago, I was right, I was riding out to New Diggings by myself, mm -hmm. and I was meeting up with some guys from the Lake Michigan Star Riders. Mm -hmm. Shout out to some of those guys. And uh, I remember it was on Memorial Day weekend, and there were friggin', you know, New Diggings, and they're just lying yep. in the streets. So I pull in all by myself, you know still vibrating from the road. Uh, I knew they were going to be there in about 20 minutes or so. Legs are all numb. Bikers all watching. I don't forget to put the kickstand down. Thought I'd put it down. Put the heel there. Thought it was down. Go up the stand. Boom! Right over with the bike. <laughs> I'm like, motherfucker! And I just picked it up with my tights and Everybody stopped, looked, and looked the other way. You know, I mean, it happens. I'm guaranteed you're going to do it in front of me. I forgot to put the kickstand up a couple times right away. 
the bike but killed. caught it in time, you know, so it doesn't uh, happen. Well, but, the, the bike would have killed. It should. No, no, no know, I was going for a little bit. I was waving at her. But I, oh, you had it up there. Oh, okay. We were going <clears throat> around, so I didn't know. And then as I heard it, the oh crap. But slow down, put it up. Okay. Yeah, you kind of need those. Yeah. Once you have an air shot. So that I've done twice, so I'm more conscious now. But with all that said, I mean, she's really taken off on it. Uh, <clears throat> she took to it pretty quick. When uh, when, she, when she first got it, you know, she was a little stiff, a little mm -hmm. you know, upright on it. Uh, so we were out taking her around, riding and that. And uh, so I would I'd kind of baby a little bit. I'd come to the stop sign, I'd put my feet down, wait for her to get up by me. And then we'd take off as long as I knew she was ready for it. So about a weekend, I get to this four-way stop and I put my feet down and I waited for her and she just fuck throttles it and blows by me. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking brat. And I'm sitting there looking like and a I bitch. Just, <laughs> at, this, at this four way stop sign, right? And I'm just smiling. It's like See ya. So I, 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 I take off after her. I'm like, okay. Yeah. I, I knew he wasn't expected, man. That was funny. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Bonnie. All right, man. Oh, there is a God. <laughs> and he has a sense that's of humor. That's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. That's awesome. So now you're, uh, Ted, you're riding a little more now because she rides. She's, oh, yeah. She's got me out all the time. We've got... <laughs> <laughs> no, no time to relax? No, not at all. I get home from work. If she gets home from work, she's like, let's get on right the bike. Now. Let's go. I'm like, right on. You were complaining go. about that to me, weren't you? Uh, well, there was times when I still had work. Bonnie, had he done, was complaining because all he's, about it. He works at, at the house a lot of times, so he still had He doesn't too. do anything. He's a union rep for crying out loud. What the hell are you thinking? You think hey, those guys work? <laughs> don't on. tell the secret. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know, sorry. What he does is waits until Jimmy Hop is still alive. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> just <laughs> my apologies. No, he doesn't work. No, he's not a union rep. <laughs> I do work. I he do work. does work. I'm I do work. I don't know what's going on. I'm, <laughs> as, I'm confused as a rule. We're hoping everybody else is confused now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's cool, though. You know, I mean, she rides and. Uh, she rides better than you. Can leave you like a bitch. Oh, <laughs> left me like a bitch. Sitting there staring at the other three cars at the four-way stop. They're all looking at me like, "What the hell?" I was like, "Okay, I'm gone." So, how is your stamina working up in the saddle now? Good. Yeah. Good. You're able Very to go good. more than you know. You're not getting squirrely. Uh, and, no. You sure? I can. You're not buying pillows, special pillows no. to sit on top of, like pillows that no, are made no, for your no, neck. No, not anymore. You should, no, not anymore. Not, uh, not no. And what, 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 so you got to tell that story. That was <laughs> riding on the back day three on our way down to Clearwater. Let's say it was day two. It was the end of day two. That was a few years back, wasn't and it? That was about four years ago. Yeah, I think that was right about the time I met you. And I think, well, right, you guys. It had, was yeah. so hot and riding that far and on the back. I think that was on the road came off. Mm -hmm. And um, cramped up and just weak. We're almost to Florida. Uh, stopped, pulled over, okay, I got a rest. Went in the gas station, bought a neck pillow, because that's all I could find. Rested on that for a little bit. And when I got back on, I shoved it on my butt. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, you gotta do what you <laughs> gotta, gotta do. Try to do this now. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm all I about innovation know. myself. Go ahead, sorry, Ted. That works. Yeah, so I mean, the weather was, it was July, so it was warm, but we hit Valdosta. And right about the time we hit Valdosta, it was just like a blast furnace. No, Southern there, Georgia is fucking hot. Yeah, it, I mean, it there's no hot, other like, word for it. All of a sudden, it was it just is hot. hot. So, uh, yeah, we had stopped in Lake City. It's like the desert, was... only Georgia. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the desert, only wet and wetter. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, Mo uh, moist. Yeah, we, the moist. air is moist. Moist. Nope. <laughs> go ahead, go it's ahead. a trigger word. Yeah. Well, I might as well fucking piss some more people off, yeah. you know? And to the person who says I have to eat more less cheeseburgers, fuck you. Moist. Yeah. Moist. Yeah. Yeah, moist. so the sailor kicked in me. I'm yeah. like, okay, moist. <laughs> <laughs> moist. I like it moist. All right, well. <laughs> you two need a minute? <laughs> Just about a minute. Well, <laughs> Uh, it's a race. I'm always winning. <laughs> right. How are you doing over there, Bonnie? I'm doing good. Yeah, you're still afraid of the camera? Right there. I know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you have an ignominious title in this podcast. 
I do. You are the very first female we've had sit down in the shit show. Oh, yeah. What's that word again? Shit show. Ignominious. What's that mean? It means a classic, like personal, one kind distinction. Nice. Nobody else can be the first. the first. This is a teaching podcast. I had never heard that word before in my entire life. Ignominious? Never heard it before. Oh. Wow. Anyways. Googleize it out there for us, folks. We don't have to. You already get the definition. Oh, I've yeah. heard ignoramus. Yeah. I've been called that. <laughs> I've been an ignoramus. Yeah. <laughs> Ignominious. Hell, the day ain't over yet, you know? Right. Yeah, give it a minute. Right. Yeah. What's the old phrase? The only time I open my mouth is to change feet. So you There know. you go. <laughs> oh, man. So it's beautiful out there. Huh? What do you think about all this crazy shit going on in America right now? Yeah, you're talking about with the protests and all that. I'm talking about whatever, whatever you want to talk about. Uh, well. I've noticed. <laughs> I stopped listening to the news about three months ago. Yeah, I try yeah, not to because I just get wound up and and uh, just angry. Um, it's a, it's a, I, I can't take it because it gets my anxiety up. I'm yeah. irritated. It, it, it is, it is irritating. You know, I don't, whatever's going on, fuck it. It's, I'm, I'm good. Well, you know, America is a macrocosm. It always has been, and it's always been uh, a place where... We're supposed to have differing opinions and like, you know, you be you, let everybody, you know, do what the hell they're going to do. And we're going to have a discussion about it. And then we go on about our day. But it doesn't seem to be that way. Anymore. Well, the thing is, everybody's almost in vogue now to be pissed off about something. And I don't know that I got the energy to just be pissed off because I want to be pissed off. So as far as I'm concerned, get on the bike, ride, enjoy myself, tip a few back, um, enjoy the freedom of the road. And uh, whatever the other assholes are doing, fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. nice that we have that outlet, but think about the people that don't. Right. You know, what are they doing, you know? Fishing. I don't know. Playing golf. Playing golf. I don't know what normal people do anymore. Ooh. I really don't. I, have, I, I only hang out with bikers. Seriously, or people in clubs. I I find I, 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 yeah. I, I identify and get along better with, with my kind. I mean, yeah, I got, I mean, I got normal <laughs> friends, too, and... Nine times out of ten, we're either shooting guns or drinking at bars. Right on. It's like, you know, they just bring themselves down to my level, you know, or we're just fucking around. I, like, I don't know what normal people do anymore. Yeah. I really don't. What is normal anymore? Well, that's just it. Everybody's, well, like you were saying, it's like virtue signaling, you know, like everybody's mad. So now everybody's mad. You know, I don't know what everybody's fucking mad about. I got to pick my thing to be mad about. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Like everybody's mad at cops now, you know, it's like. Yeah, we're in, I'm in a club. I, I never was a big fan of cops anyways, yeah. but, you so, know, I wasn't going to go burn down a target over the right, whole right. goddamn thing. <laughs> right. you know? like, and, I'm, and I'm not going to start throwing Molotov cocktails at him either. No. And I'm also stupid enough not to, like, do that, have a video taken of it, and then post it on my Facebook page. Yeah. Right. You know, like, it seems to be, there's a lot of stupidity going around. Enough, Hashtag riot life. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> There's enough stupidity going around. Tomorrow. Yeah, 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 no shit. Yeah, hashtag riot life, yeah. <laughs> I'm leading my best riot life right now. I'm over here in Chad, or Chaz, or Chaz, whatever the fuck it was. It was Chaz. They shut that shit down in fucking one hour. Yeah, I know. It's like, wow. Well, there were like 11 people left. I don't know. I don't know how many people. I know it, it took them like an hour and a half to shut it all down. No, it was so well thought out. <laughs> I Yeah, I don't, Yeah. They, they kind of didn't take some things into consideration. It's like right? I was saying last week. I think bikers are the last normal people left. Like, we're the only ones that are still continuing on with our lives. Like, we're doing the exact same thing we were doing last summer right. or last season. Or or if you're one of those lucky cocksuckers who live down south, you're just normal life. But, you know, I can't ride a bike from, like, November to March because there's fucking snow on the ground. But, yeah, bikers are, like, the last, like, sane people on the planet. We're still just fucking, yeah, what are you going to do? I'm going to ride my bike. I'm going to fucking, well, like you said, tip a few back. Maybe more than a few. Depends on the situation. Depends on the day. Depends on the day. Yeah, it was nice to go to a bike night last week. You guys were over there. Yeah. yeah over yeah. at the BFW there. Nice. Uh, were, you, were you there for the drone? I was there. Did you I hear about there. this? Mm -mm. Oh, man. So we got the bike night going on over there. And yeah. There's a lot of clubs, a lot of patch members. Yeah. Um, you know, well represented, a lot of clubs represented. And somebody from the VFW uh, who didn't have any knowledge of it, they just thought it'd be cool to show up there with a drone and they'd take some nice drone footage of the, the bike night. 
aerial so, footage. Aerial footage. With aerial the footage of patch holders and one percenters. Yeah. yeah, you can probably figure out what happened, huh? Yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah. Nice wide angle. Get everybody. Out. Nice yeah. wide angle. It was moving back and forth. I mean, yeah. it, I mean, it caused quite a stir. I bet. And then. The patch holders went away. <laughs> yeah, well, the place cleared out. They screwed their own business in the process, and you know, well, people are just ignorant of certain faux pas that are not allowed. You know, a lot of people don't like to have your picture taken. You know, I'm not big on it. I well, I I don't I'm not, I don't care one way or the other. You know, I'm I'm not ignorant to the fact that I'm pretty sure that if the government wanted to know anything about me, they could figure it the fuck out. You know, I have a smart TV at home, so. They're probably right. watching me in my underwear watch fucking YouTube videos. On yeah, but at least you have dashing looks, brother. I wouldn't say that. No, no, he's dashing looking, don't you think? Dashing. I have a face for radio. He has a face for video. <laughs> yeah. You know? Okay, so. <laughs> I ain't lying, fuck. I don't know. My wife says I look good, but she's fucking blind and deaf. I'm sorry, honey. I love you. I love you a lot. You are deaf, though, right? Just to let you know. She doesn't my wife tells me I'm not as fucking cool as I think I am, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know your wife. That doesn't surprise no. me in the least. <laughs> they know all of our secrets. They do. Yeah, all our little peccadillos. Oh, yeah. There's another one. Peccadillos. Our little. Peccadillos. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not cool either when my wife's around. She she makes sure to put me in my place whenever the fuck she you know gets the opportunity to. <laughs> you no, know, it's it's cool like that. You know, I, sometimes I do get a big head, but you know, it is what it is. Everybody's got to have that somebody that shuts yeah. you down every once in a while. But you guys had the coolest wedding that I've, I've witnessed on the internet. Yeah, I got married by Elvis in Las Vegas. So That's right. That was pretty cool. It was pretty Although cool. we had a lazy eye, which you can't tell in the video because he had sunglasses. It, here's the thing. So we go to this fucking wedding chapel, and it's like in the art district of uh, Las Vegas, which I guess they have. And we meet huh, this guy. I thought that was where all the strip clubs were. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's like an Who art knew? district. Yeah. Huh, wow. And... You know, we meet him, and he's got, like, this fucking, like, weird lazy... And you see Wayne's World 2, where they're talking to that bank guy? Yeah. And he's, he's got, like, the fucked up eye? Yeah. yeah. That's exactly how this Elvis was, you know? And he's talking to us normal, you know, like a normal person. Like, I'm talking right now, like, oh, hey, how's it going? I'm so-and-so. I'm going to do... All right, cool. Yeah, so we're, we're going to do this song. We're going to do that song. And, okay, we'll do the thing. And, okay, great. All right, cool. Puts the sunglasses on. Straight up in the fucking character. He's now Elvis. He's, oh, 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 and it's fucking the whole shebang, man. It was fucking weird as shit. And then after everything was all said and done, he takes the sunglasses off and he's back to normal. Hey, man, really great meeting you guys. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. It's like that fucking Sylvester Sloan movie, Over the Top, you know, where he's got the hat. You know, I turn it backwards. I turn it. It's like him with the sunglasses, you know. So he puts some glasses on. He's fucking Elvis. And we got the fat Elvis, too. We didn't want the skinny Elvis. Well, you might as well get the fat, bloated I want, Elvis. I want on amphetamines, Elvis. puking on himself, yep. eating vanilla wafer and fucking banana. And I want, yeah, I want my banana, my fried, what was it? With it, peanut butter, banana, and pickles, right? Yeah, something like Fried, that. something like I don't fucking know. But uh, <laughs> no, it was fucking crazy. He died. <laughs> yeah, my wedding reception was on Fremont Street, you know? Yeah. Yeah, Fremont Street's rocking. Dude, Fremont Street's the best, man. That's like old Vegas. If we were going to do it again, have a second one, mm -hmm. I think I'd want Morrison for my, mm. for my guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. I wanted Morrison. Hendrix. Yeah, yeah. Hendrix. Yeah, yeah, I wanted yeah, Jimi yeah. Hendrix. Yeah. You know, it's it's funny that you talk about uh, the Elvis, and he was like, oh, and then, boom, puts the glasses on and into his persona. Yeah. When I was a chef working out east, mm -hmm. I met uh, Randy Macho Man Savage and Elizabeth. They were staying in the hotel. <laughs> really? They were staying in the hotel where I was the chef. And he was cool as fuck. He, he really was, and he, he loved Elizabeth. He really did. Really? And, oh, yeah. He really, they, he was a different guy, let me tell you. And he was like, oh, yeah, how you doing? You know, he wasn't all, like, coked out, like, on TV or... I watched the man change because really? we, we were talking in the hotel and everything. And we're, you know, in the, in the dining room. And was I he just, super sweaty? No, he wasn't. He's always sweaty. On he TV. was normal until we walked out the doors <laughs> and there's like the, the friggin' people, the paparazzi and the press and everything. And he changed. And suddenly he's like, Elizabeth, get over here. Kiss me right here on the cheek. And like going Jesus. into his whole persona and shit. And then he get into the car, and then he looks over at me, and he winks and gives me the friggin' thumbs up. And I was like, motherfucker, man, that's so cool. Like, you are badass, man. Randy Macho Man Savage. But, yeah. I'm, I know a guy that dated Elizabeth before she wasn't. No Elizabeth. shit. Really? <laughs> yeah, no shit. Wow. Come on. Do tell. That, she, she did that porno. And he goes, he, he goes, you see that bracelet she's got on? 
He's like, I bought that for. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that was like his fucking Yes! Moment, right? Nice. Oh, that's friggin' awesome, man. <laughs> Did she die before the Macho Man? I know she died. I don't remember if it was before or after him. Doesn't matter. I just brought down the whole fucking podcast. Made wow. It sad. What are Sorry. You, you fucking, what are you, Boomer, talking about death again? Yeah, well, yeah. We got one of our club brothers. Yeah, Boomer got dark. The, the, most, <laughs> the most dark and somber podcast we ever had. Yeah. Somebody, oh, well, he's yeah. a Marine. and you know, He was a yeah. Marine sniper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, He man. saw things a little different than we did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Still yeah, does. It's a reason well, we call. You know, it is what it is. I mean, the reason we, war is not pretty. Yeah. Well, you know. Yeah, you, you know. You know better. So what's the combat... Uh, Vets Association. Yeah, all I actually, I'm curious about that too. All right, so our motto was Vets Help and Vets. Yep. So in order to belong to combat vets, you had to have served in a uh, combat theater, mm. and they double, they check your DD-214 to make sure you've actually got the the, uh, the ribbons and the medals to prove it. Um, <clears throat> and you got to be able, you have to have a bike uh, 500 cc's or higher. Um, Ooh, yeah, so 500. I know, I know. I, I almost don't even like saying. No, nah, it's probably because of the sport bike. Sport sure. bikes, right? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, so I mean, we we do rides, and as a matter of fact, we just had a ride. Um, it was our second our second ride as a chapter. Um, we had about 120 bikes, a little bit over actually. Wow. Yeah. Which is a big change from so last year we did one. It was I think we had 24 bikes. Yeah. So I mean, we really uh, was able to get a lot more participation, raise a lot of money. Uh, we raised it for uh, Brave Hearts in Rockford. They do horse therapy mm-hmm. for uh, mm-hmm. disabled vets, special yep. PTSD. Um, uh, they do other stuff too, but the money that we donated went right straight for uh, earmark for uh, disabled vets and that's PTSD for the therapy and horses and that. So um, yeah, we do stuff like that. I mean, we just try to raise money. If, uh, if there's a vet out there that uh, uh, needs their house painted, they they can't afford to paint their house. They buy the paint. Well. Come over and we'll do the we'll do the labor and get right that fucker painted. And, That's cool. Yeah. Now, do you guys interact Stuff with like other that. clubs out in the world? Uh, we we do. Um, I, you know, obviously we don't. Um, They've been on our strip poker one, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which goes to the battered woman shelter. I mean, it's a charity ride. I think it's kind of ironic ride. when you think about well, it. Well, yeah, the domestic abuse center. Right. Yeah, no, yeah. love that. Uh, yeah. We had a blast. Um, yeah, so um, we just donated, just on Friday, donated a few thousand dollars to the Best Walk In Center. Right That's, on. Yeah. Right on, man. Yeah. That's cool. You know, uh, bikers are very benevolent as a group, you know, just as a, as on a, the whole. Yep, yeah, no doubt. As a group, no doubt. Um, with the vets, I think with, uh, with our organization, um, I find that it's easier for me to talk to a veteran than it is to talk to just somebody else. Um, if I was going to pick an order of the people I would rather talk to, it'd be veterans and, and bikers. Yeah, um, I kind of feel then, that way about patch holders. I, know about you. <laughs> right, I mean, so like with a veteran, I mean, I think we just connect, <clears throat> right? So we're all fucked up in the same kind of way for the most part. <clears throat> Different ways, but in the same way at the same time. Uh, and I think we just feel comfortable and more relaxed with each other. Uh, a lot of people that are out in the civilian world, world um, well, they, don't they know. just don't get it. Yeah, they don't you know. know. Right. Yeah. He's just an asshole. No, I'm not yeah, an asshole. No. Well, I am an asshole, but well. not because, <laughs> <laughs> maybe not for the reasons you think. But uh, <laughs> I know you. I think they're <laughs> pretty sure. <laughs> Well, like I've never, I never served myself. You know, I, I was a fucking shithead when I was younger. I'm still a shithead now, but you know, I'm just a more mature shithead. I like it. Yeah, I mean, you know, so, <laughs> I'd be the only one. But like, I have like, you know, like a ton of my fucking friends from high school and my youth all fucking joined. Like right the fuck, like I hung out in that circle, but I was more, you know, I'm not gonna fuck, fuck down. Nobody's telling me what to do, you know, because I knew everything back then, and uh, yeah, and uh, you know, it's it's something I've noticed, like. You know, once you serve it or once you, you know, join whatever branch it is, whether it's, you know, the Navy, the Marines, the Army, whatever, you're not the same individual as you were beforehand. Right. You know, not, not not in a bad way. It's just something happens. Right. So I, I completely understand if somebody's like, you know, I can identify with a vet more than I can, say, a regular civilian because 
that civilian has some fucking experience with, you know, a vet's going to experience, especially a combat vet. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, you know, I'm not talking shit about anybody, but, you know, I mean, in the 80s and early 90s, there wasn't a whole lot going on. Yeah, it, was you know? pretty, it was a pretty safe bet back then. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, go in, you know, get your money for college. Right. Yeah, but sure. at the same time, I mean, they were doing what their country needed them to do, you know, whatever they were doing, you know, whether it was on a submarine, just patrolling around wherever, you know. But yeah, I mean, there's, I don't know, you know, I mean, there's, there's a different level of respect you have for a guy that joined up after 9 11 because he knew right the fuck away if you're joining up, you're going, you're doing something. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that was a slow learner. I didn't, didn't I didn't enlist right away. Um, I was 19, I think, when I went in. I really, well, I know I was 19, but uh, <laughs> well, good. <laughs> from what I remember, that's still a kid, though, right. man. So yeah, that was starting to, you know, you know, starting to catch, you know, uh, getting arrested, and doing a lot of shit that I shouldn't be caught doing, and yeah. uh, so I decided to get, See, the, fuck some out. Fun. I good. get the hell good. out of town, right? And uh, that was. <laughs> That was the quickest way out of town. Yeah. <laughs> that, well, yeah. Now, did you see any uh, overseas? Yeah, so, I, well, like I, said, I was in the Navy, so I was on an aircraft carrier. Um, I did a deployment on the Eisenhower back Well, you in. could have run around America, you know, in the, you know, the oceans around there, you know. <laughs> right, yeah. No, we uh, went over to the Mediterranean uh, deployment, which was uh, actually pretty cool. You get to see the south of France, Spain, you know, all those. You crossed the equator. I did not. Oh, you didn't have I to did go. Not. You didn't go through it then. No, right? I'm not one of those guys. Right? I'm, I'm still what they call a polywog. You know about that? Yeah. yeah. About yeah. My dad but, told me all about it when he had to go through it. Yeah. yeah. Then uh, when In 1958, uh, <laughs> but it was different. Right. Yeah. Uh, so I hear it's a lot calmer now, a lot more tame. Um, unfortunately, yeah. It's a kinder, gentler world everywhere, apparently. Uh, but when uh, they invaded uh, Kuwait, when, I, when Hussein invaded Kuwait, mm -hmm. uh, we got called up and then uh, beat feet over there. Um, I was, actually, I was just, uh, I was on leave. I had just taken leave. And I flew home on leave. I was going to be home for two weeks. And I'm short to get out. So I'm like, I'm on vacation, man. I'm on the retirement program, right? I got like four months left. I ain't doing shit. I don't have to go back out to sea. I'm chilling. So I went home, and I got home, and the phone was ringing as I was walking through the door. And it was my squadron. I said, hey, you got to come back. We just got deployed. Mm. I was like, what the fuck do you mean? I, got? I just got here. I said, I got, and I, no shit, I had a fucking McDonald's bag. Me. <laughs> Me. Yeah. Here. Right. So I had a Big Mac, probably fucking value meal. There you go. I was like, I haven't even ate my fucking Big Mac yet, right? Did you He's eat like, the Big you, Mac before you went? I did. He said, well, well, you okay, gotta come. He said, you got to come back. I said, oh, I, I just go. So what the fuck are you talking about? I just got here. You got to come back. I was like, all right. He says, when do you come back? I said, I don't know. I ain't come back tonight. He says, well, when do you come back? I said, well, I ain't come back. So, you know, being a fucking 20-year-old kid, right? Mm -hmm. All indignant. And uh, I said, I ain't come back tonight. I ain't come back tomorrow. I said, I might be back on Sunday. And I hung up, and I thought, oh, fuck, I ain't big shit. <laughs> so I got on, I was calling around trying, I was almost, I was, got online, but obviously we didn't have uh, internet. So I started calling around trying to get flights to get back. So I did catch one on Sunday to get back. And then from there, packed up my shit and left, man. I had an apartment. I had to call the manager. I said, hey, I got to go, you know, and uh, I guess the rest is in the history books. And that, that's yeah. the shit that people don't understand about military life right yeah. there, you know. Yeah. yeah, I remember my younger brother was over and stationed in uh, Japan. He was in Misawa, Japan, in the Air Force. And he was going to get married. And something came up, and they were like, no, you you can't go. And he's like, it's my wedding. Like, <laughs> I'm, yeah. me, leave, going, wedding. Like, no, he almost didn't make his own wedding. Yeah, yeah, no, don't yeah. care. Needs yeah. Of, needs of the military. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. don't care. Right. So far be it from us at the Biker's Lifestyle mm -hmm. not to bring up strip clubs. But you were in the military. And considering we just had Brother Mongo in here last yeah. week talking about strip clubs, let's talk about shore leave and strip clubs. What can you tell us? So when you're on the ship, <laughs> I'm so excited about this. Story. I got this story. Now we're in my expertise. I know. <laughs> we're in my wheelhouse here. Right. So when you're on the ship and you're getting ready to hit a port for about for about a week, 
and on the ship, I don't know how it is today, but there was like two channels. It was like that they, whatever they would put out is what you would watch. No. So on both channels, they would have, they would have a map of the city you're going to, and it'd be there'd be a red, hookers here, <laughs> almost, almost. So there'd be a, like a red area on this no map. No efficiency. And mm-hmm. nope, this is the this is what they call the gut. This is the gut. Nobody can go to the gut. Okay. This is where all, so it's like, okay, so we're all taking fucking no. Right? So we're so, going to the so gut. So we know yeah. that's where all. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. Don't go here. All right, we're in. <laughs> so as soon as they get off, get off, you know, 3,000 freaking sailors all run to that fucking area yeah. on the map. And the first port I made was in France. I can't remember what city it was. I think it was Toulon. And uh, so here's the map. I'm like, we all shoot off over there. And I'm sitting there having a couple beers. I'm sitting in this booth, and this this uh, bra comes over, and she's pretty good looking, kind of rack, you know, tits off the gear, and, and uh, good looking, and, and she comes over and she starts talking to me, telling me, you know, sweet talk to me, and I'm like, oh my fuck, you know, I like France. Yeah. <laughs> <She's awesome. laughs> and she's sitting in the booth, and she's kind of climbing all over me and telling me where her house is, and she can see the house <laughs> and all that stuff. I'm like, right on, man. This is awesome. And uh, and she goes, uh, hey, you want to buy me a drink? I'm like, fuck yeah, I'll buy you a drink. (laughs) And uh, I go, what are you drinking? She goes, champagne. They always drink champagne. Right. So then the little red flag goes up. So I'm still, I'm young, but immediately, right, the spidey senses go out. Oh, yeah. A little red flag. I'm like, Uh okay. I said, "Uh, how much is a glass of champagne? Now, this is in the 80s. 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. And I'm making, I'm making probably at that time in the military about maybe 10 grand a year. Mm-hmm. If that, yeah, like twenty bucks. I go, nah. I said, I'm good. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. You just popped so, your uh, your champagne uh, your champagne cherry with so the stripper. Yeah, strip that point. was the end of it. After after a couple of drinks, I was uh, I had a a little remorse, but uh, she clowned on a couple other guys, right? But uh, yeah, I saved twenty bucks and probably a case of a clap. I yeah. first I first learned about that old champagne thing in the combat zone in Boston. When I was 18, so that's 1980, and that was where they called it the combat zone. But that was where all the strip clubs were. Yeah, 1980. Now, what are you drinking? Champagne? How much? Fifteen dollars a glass? Like, what the fuck out? Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. We're down that road already. <laughs> yeah. So I was a I was a smarter squid after that going into parts. Yeah. Well, I knew what the what the champagne was all about. <laughs> <laughs> Wink. <laughs> right on. Fuck yeah. Well, it sounds like you had fun, your, your share of adult fun. Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed it. Looking back, I liked it more than when I was in, right? Well, that's with any you know, all the bullshit. You, know? oh. you remember the good times. And, and of course, everybody you served with, you know, you we're tied together forever. Right? Sure. Stay in touch sure, a sure. Lot now. Uh, spread out all over the country and that. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, make sure that you stay in touch. Well, that's good, man. That's, that's important. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I don't know what they did before the internet, right? How they was, I, I don't think that they stayed in touch, right? And I think that there's a little bit of therapy involved in uh, reaching out to those guys again and bullshit and talking about, uh, you know, guys that uh, maybe we lost or have lost since. Um, and, uh, and, you know, just bullshit about the good times and laugh. But, you know, I know that if, uh, if I'm having a rough day, sometimes, you know, she'll find me out in the garage at, you know, midnight, one, two o'clock in the morning by myself, have some beers and, and drinking. And inevitably, uh, I'm usually on the phone with one of the guys that uh, I used to run with. And, and uh, it's, it's a little bit of a therapy session for me. Sounds a little like club life sometimes. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh. shit gets to everybody, right? Yeah. You know? Yeah, no yeah, shit. Yeah, it, yeah, I don't know how else to explain it. I mean, shit just gets to people. You know, I mean, you can't go through life fucking not having shit get to you. You know, mm-hmm. nobody leaves a perfect life. Depending upon which level of difficulty you want to take on, it's going to be harder, you know. Yeah. So I didn't mean to drive this into like some bullshit dark. No, 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 man. This is, yeah, this ain't even close to as dark as we've gotten before. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's sure. gotten pretty dark, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, it goes pretty, where it goes. It's kind of hold my beer. No, yeah, nobody's driving this motherfucker, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know, nobody in charge here, man. You want dark cold my beer? It's what it's what the kids call organic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> unscripted, uncensored. Organic. Yeah, yeah. And and what is organic? Shit. 
That's yeah, right. so yeah, that's true. It literally is a shit show. This is the whole that's okay. foods of podcasts. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Last week so, we were the Seinfeld of podcasts. Yeah. A show about nothing. Yeah, we had yeah no direction whatsoever. But it is kind of cool because we're able to get in here and rap with a bunch of different bikers from some different walks of life. And, yeah. You know, people that are around us, people in the community, it's good to know that there's others out there. And it's good to know that, uh, you know, people like you are out there taking care of your your, uh, your, your comrades, your veterans. You know, it's it's uh, important. I think it's just like any other group. I mean, you guys take care of your brothers and, and you take care of your yeah. brothers. And... Well, ours are usually somebody's having a meltdown and he needs to get on a motorcycle. So, you know. I don't know who you're talking about. I know exactly who I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm looking right at him. I don't know who you're talking about, yeah, man. Yeah, no, I... Just because I'm fucking ordered up in my house with a whole bunch of fucking five, five, six rounds waiting fucking for the boogaloo to jump off, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Sometimes you got to get off the internet. Yeah, you do have to get off the internet. <laughs> yeah. It's very, very important. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know what I want to talk about here? Oh, Jesus. I, I came prepared, actually. I'll put it up there, but the, it's the, I'll get it up on the screen and all I have the whole shit. But as for our Zach Olson ride, we've talked about this here on the podcast many, many times. Yep. But it's coming up uh, July 25th. Yes, go ahead and take that poster if you want. Uh, July 25th, Zach Olson was a uh, uh, boy had brain cancer, 19 years old. And were you guys part of that last year? Did you do that? We wanted to. We ended up having a conflict. Yeah, there, I, I did see it. There was a lot of riders came. That's what I heard. I heard and, it was, uh, that was great. And we're going to try to do the work. Well, we're not trying to do We are. We're doing this first annual uh, memorial ride um, coming up. It should be a good time. It's not one of those things we're going to go bar to bar. It's actually we're going to go and in, uh, invade Orfordville for an hour and have a little bit of fun. We'll take the ride from Afton over to Orfordville. And then from there, we're going to we're bringing them to Beckman's Mill. You, you know the area. Oh, yeah. And we'll do a nice, uh, nice big photo op there in front of the waterfalls. It's nice and picturesque. Yeah, Beckman's Mill is like a like a tourist thing. It's not like a bar. It's like a they yeah. got like stuff. It, you know, it's, it's an a, old mill. It's like yeah, yeah. But yeah. yeah, I don't know how to how to describe it. It's just an old like it's like a park. It's like a park. It is. It yeah. is. It was a dairy years ago. It was a grist mill that they had the actual grist mill. They got so bring a flask. You know, it's that's the moral of the story. Bring a flask. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I moved back in Wisconsin in '99, and they had already started uh, refinishing over there, re redoing it. It's really nice. It is really, it's really real nice. It's real fucking now. nice. It's a real nice ride, man. And, it uh, really is. It, it's right over near. It's about a mile and a half from my house. But that's where we're gonna do the picturesque thing there. That's yeah. my happy spot. That's if I gotta oh, yeah. get out and go away. Fucking me and the old lady, man. We throw the fucking alcoholic beverages in the saddlebags and we used to fucking we called it our uh, what do we call it like a hiking tour or whatever. We go to like all these, you know you know, resort, or not resorts, reserves, fuck, reserves, yeah. all these fucking park, you know, whatever. Yeah, you guys were doing that for a while. Weren't you doing fuck, yeah, geocaching man. too? Huh? Was it geocaching? Were you doing the geocaching or? I don't know what geocaching is. Oh, then you weren't doing it. That wasn't me. <laughs> That's that shit. They had the little. We got we got fucking liquored up and did fucked up shit to each other you in were, fucking oh. parks. That's that's essentially what happened. You know, it's like that, that's what they used to do before uh, they started hunting Pokemon's on their fucking. I, I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't <laughs> even know what the fuck that is. I only know because you I just, had young kids at the time. Actually, right? you just you just prodded a memory. That's my story. You just prodded a memory out of me uh, um, about Beckman's Mill. You said you guys could. Oh, I, I know the story you're talking about. You know the story I'm talking with about with a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> I actually told you about that. Yeah, I? yeah, you did because I told you the story about uh, me and my old lady, and you were like, "Okay, well, well just so happens, it just so happens." <laughs> when when oh, yeah. they when they were building that that Beckman's Mill, you're familiar with it. You guys yeah, have been out there, yeah. and you know where the whole the dam is and everything, and then it kind of goes around to the left, and there's like a little park and a little vista and all that right. and everything. They just built it. It's a beautiful, beautiful summer night. This was a while ago. Uh, <laughs> it was just so nice out. Nobody was around, and Don and I went and took the blanket down there, and we christened it. We grabbed the blanket and fucking went at it, man, right there on the side. Of the... <laughs> so that's our happy spot. We always giggle when we go by there a little. I'm prob yeah. I'll probably embarrass her a little when we bring all the bikers by. And, you know, go over there. There's our spot, honey. See, <laughs> go down. If she, yeah, right. Oh God, you know, you just said her name now, man. 
Oh, if she knows I oh, tell this story, she's going to freaking kill me. You can bleep that. Uh, no, I bleep won't. That. She doesn't <laughs> watch this shit. She does not watch this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she probably couldn't hear it anyway. If it was Avon Bottoms. Avon Bottoms. Yeah. Avon Bottoms. Yeah, I like Avon Bottoms. <laughs> a man and a woman could disappear in there uh, and do fun things. Actually, are you guys familiar Avon. with Avon Bottoms? Yeah, yeah. Oh, if we, yeah. Uh, come on. Who, who hasn't? I mean, <laughs> you want to Google that shit. You, yeah. talk, you talk about the satanic rituals and stuff that well, are out there. Yeah. Allegedly. Yeah. Avon Bottoms, fucking uh, Magnolia Bluff. DNA everywhere. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> Don't, yeah. yeah. But it's, yeah, fuck, man. Hey, you got to get back to nature. It's important to do those things, and it's really, really important to connect so, with that significant other. And I can't think of any way to do from that. If there was a vet out there that wanted to get involved with the combat vets, how would they go about doing it? Uh, they can look us up on uh, on our website, Combat Vets, uh, Motorcycle Association. Google it. Is that a .com or a .org? Or? Um, I don't have the Give me the information. Either way, just Google, Google it. Google. Just Google it. I'll, 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 I'll <laughs> throw this shit up on the screen. <laughs> it'll, be in the, yeah, it'll be in the description. Um, some, yeah, some and yeah. we're on Facebook, too. Combat Vets Motorcycle Association. I'm out of Chapter 24-6. If you're in Wisconsin, 45-5 is a great chapter. A lot of good guys up there. Um, and, you know, yeah, Google us. Man. We're waiting for you. You know, I can tell you're a Wisconsin boy. Because you said Wisconsin. Wisconsin. <laughs> Wisconsin. <laughs> Wisconsin. That's the way we say it here, man. It's how we fucking roll in Wisconsin. Wisconsin. All right? And we, we like fireworks, and we like guns here in this state. Things and, that go boom. And apparently we can't fix a fucking road. Or our version of fixing a road around here is to throw fucking tar and pea gravel pea. all over it. Fucking and, pea gravel. And then, and then let the freaking cars and the tires push it all in. Yeah, and uh, uh, thanks for the warning, right? Before yeah, right, road, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. I know you're you're, you're going along and it's there. like yeah, loose gravel, boom, you're into it. Yeah. You know, I mean, shit. Yeah, yeah it's kind of like it's like a uh, driving around in Canada. Canada, when you're driving on the interstates there, it's like there was your exit. Like that was that's like the sign says in like French Canadian, and you know, you're trying to too busy trying to figure out the other language to figure out where the fuck you are because half it's in, in English and the other half's in French Canadian. And then like there's no warning, you know, you're just driving along. Like, there was the exit. Oh shit. There we go. Okay. All these fucking pansy ass bitches on the, you know, the Facebook or whatever, bitching about grass clippings. Grass clippings. You know, oh, oh my God. On, man. The grass clippings. Yeah. Be in Wisconsin on a backcountry road and all of a sudden, hey, what's that sign? Loose gravel. Yeah. Now you're on loose fucking gravel and you were just doing fucking 65, 70. Yeah. Or if you're in the UP and all of a sudden the road turns into gravel where they've never paved it ever, you know, and it's a logging trail disguised as a highway, you know. Yeah, if you go up through there, there's a road. I think it's called the Million Dollar, Million Dollar Highway. It's up in the UP. I okay, know there's one in Colorado. Mm -hmm. But as you go by, it's a fuck. It's a gravel road. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm guessing it was. It's supposed to be sarcastic when they named right. it. I'm hoping. Yeah. But uh, yeah, uh, you're down in Florida. Often, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right? So I mean, the roads down there are are uh, just as can be just as sketchy. They use those coquina shells. Yeah, when they, I know. You know, I don't know if you've had problems. I know that. Uh, when we were down there, it took a little getting used to when it rained. It get really fucking slick. It wasn't that big of a transition for me. No? Uh, no, because in Massachusetts, Cape Cod, that area, they take all the quahog shells and the clam shells, and they crush them up a little in a grinder, and that's what they use to, to put down on second tertiary roads, and everybody's driveway's got them. You just get used to it, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, it was a surprise for me on the bike. Um, so, I mean, you know, all I can say is for all you asshats out there that see grass clippings on the road, and you're fucking riding along and you're going to fucking freak out, pull your fucking clutch in for God's sake when you go through it. I don't even slow down. I don't either. I don't, I don't even I don't slow down for grass. I don't, I don't, I don't because it really doesn't make fucking two shits of it a difference. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. But if you're scared, pull your clutch in. What fucking rub bought his bike from the fucking dealership, spent $45,000, got into grass clippings, and was like, this is dangerous as fuck. Yeah. Fucking fags. Right. Anyways. <laughs> I couldn't <laughs> agree fags. more. I couldn't agree more, Shut man. Shut the fuck up. Right? Ride your ride. Ride your ride. Yeah. Man. But, I mean, crying out loud. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to encounter that shit. Hashtag be a man. Be a man. I mean, oh, that'd be trying to come out too. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. What was the other one? Riot life. That's riot what it was. Life. Riot oh, life. Oh boy. Hashtag riot life. You Hashtag heard it riot here. Life. All four <laughs> yeah. of you heard it here on the yeah. Packers Lifestyle Podcast. Yeah. Get that trending. Yeah, right. And whoever's going on to YouTube and then like you actually watch the video and they give us a thumbs down, thanks for the feedback. 
And thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Our yeah. first T-shirt, if we ever make T-shirts, is going to say, I hate the Bikers Lifestyle Podcast. I really think we should do that. We really should. It we wouldn't change it then. I'd wear it. I would, <laughs> I would too. <laughs> Fuck. You know, at least we're happy on this show for a while. We got a, we got a, we were a little morose there for a couple of weeks. We were both having bike problems. And... Yeah, it is what it is, man. I mean, it's not all fucking sunshine and roses. No, no. But I also only have one motorcycle here. Usually I had two or three, you know. Yeah. I got one down south, and then I'm, you know, rebuilding this one. And, well, it was a little tough, you know, living where I live, too, and all the freaking you know, bike, bike brigades going by, you know. <laughs> Jesus. It's hard. There's one now, motorcycles. Yeah. Well, I suppose we should wrap this up. I'm out of beer and I'm roaching my cigar. So well, we probably should wrap this up. Any final thoughts? Anything I want to want take to a little ride with you anyway. So Yeah. yeah. No, I appreciate you guys having us on here. Dude, we appreciate you coming down. Yeah, I've Fuck actually yeah. you guys you, you, you did great. It was it was it was a good time. Oh, you yeah. Know? You know, Bonnie didn't die. No, I'm not. You were worried right. about that. Yeah. You trying to get some liquid courage earlier? Were I you? Did. We you can did. get shots. <laughs> Fuck, we can get. We can make it fun, you know? <laughs> you haven't seen some of the episodes. Yeah, right? there was a few of them. I got fucking Oh, sucked. no, you guys listened to them on... You, <laughs> we listened to them on, uh, I think it was a Radio Public app. Oh, okay. Uh, we didn't catch them on YouTube. It oh, took me a while before I You know that one I did? The first one we did with Vito? I did not see that. I saw okay. the one with Mongo and... Uh, uh, the one with you, I should say, saw, listened to. Right. And uh, you talking about uh, the bike issue. Oh, the last one. Yeah. I think oh, okay. well, we had a guest, Vito. Yeah, Vito. And the first time he came in, he's been on the show twice. And the first time he came in, he had this designer. I it was some high-end hooch. Some high-end high scotch. scotch. But, but yeah. it wasn't It wasn't overly. It was like cheap high-end scotch, it, which yeah, it doesn't make sense, but it makes sense if it would, yeah, it would seem to go down smooth for you guys. And it, and it wasn't, it wasn't bad. <laughs> they, they drank. I don't remember half of the podcast. <laughs> like I have no idea what the fuck I'm even talking about. That wasn't the one I'm talking about. Though. Because when, talking when, about? when Vito came in the second time. Oh yeah. 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 We talked about racism. And he, yeah. he, he brought in the big boy scotch. Yeah. I got a little, a little spicy there yeah, for a second. Yeah. A little spicy. A little spicy. Nah, you, you were the lights were on, but nobody was home. No. <laughs> We were, yeah, full on blackout, yeah, fucking we, just floating with it. But we had another club brother who was here with us, Miho, at the same Miho, time. Miho, yeah. And he was just, we could see he was just gone. And we kind of like looked at each other, the two yeah. of us, like you could see it in the video. It was mm -hmm. fun. So we had good times here at the Bikers Lifestyle Podcast. You know? Yeah, so your mind goes to sleep and your body's on spring break. Right? Yeah. yeah, I've been there. Yeah, well, well. <laughs> you fall back to your training, you know, you just start <laughs> fucking rambling, you know. <laughs> Go with what you know. Exactly. Yeah. Go with what you know, but it has been a good time, and you know we'll probably bring you guys back again. You know, you have yeah. something more to tell. You know, yeah. More Anytime. Anytime. Uh, please, please, please make sure you try to come out to Zach Olson ride. I know you got something else going on that day. Um, I'll uh, I'll spread the word. But the strip poker run is the first. No, I August first. I can't guarantee you another suicide, but uh, you never know. <laughs> We're uh, we'll be beating feet back from Deadwood to make sure. Oh, we, that's uh, right. You guys ooh, are gonna be yeah, make sure Deadwood. we find uh, get back in time for that. Yeah, we're supposed to be yeah. back on the 31st. 31st so. yeah. Those are some of the best riding, motorcycle riding roads uh, in the country. Love it out there. You, you love the desert, don't you? I do. I do. Yeah. You go to the Valley of Fire out there in Nevada. Well, that's that's yeah. If it didn't snow, it'd be perfect. Yeah. Yeah. That'll there. happen. I know. Big pass. So. That'll happen. Well, well, but I just want to thank you guys for coming in. Uh, I've known you guys for a little while. It's always yeah. nice to see you. Um, glad you could. Uh, let us know how uh, how things are, how things are going. Glad you're back on a bike. Me too. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. And uh, you're going to have to come out to the house. You guys want to jump into the pool or something. You know where I live. So oh, I do know. we don't drink anymore. We're not as fun as we used to be, but <laughs> we still blow shit up and have fires and, you know, there you go. do all that stuff. So I'll shred one for the other. Yeah. <laughs> Join the green team. <laughs> <laughs> well we're probably going to wrap it up here on the biker's lifestyle so just to finish up with one of our little catchphrases that we have and it's remember everybody the most dangerous part in your motorcycle is the nut that connects the seat to the handlebars fuck off adios